G'day folks, quick question, how do you open up a bottle of beer? Or any other bottled beverage for that matter. Some clever people like to open beer bottles with their teeth. Oi, how's it going? <laughs> Cheers! Quick disclaimer, not recommended by 100% of all dentists. Some people like to use a cigarette lighter. By using the lighter, and with a bit of practice, you can flick that cap off. It doesn't work too bad, but what if you don't smoke? And you could, of course, use an actual bottle opener, like this contraption here. But, you know, it's so boring. So 1990s. And uh, can anybody tell me what this thing does? It bends and twists and carries on. Can't believe I even own it. Weird. While others, like myself, like to launch our bottle caps into the stratosphere by using a catapult or capapult, as you see here. Check this out. And we're ready to launch. Stand back, folks. Did you see that? That is absolutely fantastic. Mm. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> Love it. G'day folks, Uncle Knackers here from DIY for Knuckleheads and in today's video I'm going to show you how to easily make your very own bottle opener catapult style out of scrap wood using limited tools and for under five bucks. Sound good? Let's do it. Come on. Chop, chop, that's you. Come on. Now, before we kick off, a bit of housekeeping. What? What was that? Is he fair dinkum? If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you click the notification bell next to it. That way you'll be alerted immediately whenever I upload any new content. Good stuff. And yes, there will be a competition in today's video where one lucky viewer will win themselves a couple of these magnificent DIY for knucklehead stickers. Now these are getting as rare as hen's teeth as I think I've only got about five pairs left. So make sure you listen up and watch right through to the end of the video so that you can pick up some vital clues that you'll need to answer a couple of simple questions. And with all that housekeeping done, let's go ahead and make this crazy catapult bottle opener. Let's go. Now the first thing you need to do is to go out in the shed and raid that scrap wood pile that you've been wondering what to do with for all these years. And what I stumbled across was this offcut from a window architrave. It's dressed down pre-primed pre pine. Peter picked the peck of pickled peppers and it's 90 by 19 or 4 by one close enough. And to accompany that, you'll also need a stick of pine, roughly 35 millimeters by 35 millimeters or inch and a half by inch and a half. And I reckon these two together are going to be perfect for our bottle top catapult. Or should that be bottle top capapult? Get it? Cap? Capapult? You're flicking off a cap? I like it. I'm going with it. Now using that stick of 90 by 19, cut one piece at 460 millimeters and three lengths to 360 millimeters whereby one of those will be cut down to 120 millimeters at a later date. And I'll explain why later on in the video. So make sure you stay tuned. And you can cut the launching lever to approximately 400 millimeters. With the pieces now cut, this is how it's going to go together. This is the base. We have two sides, a top, and a launching lever. To the base, I'm going to attach the two sides, which I'll recess into that base. 
then I'll plonk on the top which I'll also recess in and then simply attach the launching lever. Too easy. I'm excited folks, let's do this. Now the first step in the process is to recess in these two sides into the base. Now if you aren't confident in doing a recess join, you can just simply butt the side up to the base and screw it in. But for a stronger joint, a recess is the way to go. So come back in from the end 100 millimeters or four inches and keep the side flush to the outside of the base and then just simply trace around that side. And that is what we will be recessing out and do the same on the other side. There you go, beautiful. The rebates marked on the top, it's a good idea to transfer those measurements to the underside of the piece. With the base now marked and ready to go, run a series of cuts along the length of the rebate and then chisel out the waist. And if this looks a little tricky and you're not comfortable with using a mitre saw, don't panic. The same cuts can be made with a handsaw. Just take your time and you'll be right. Now those recesses or rebates are ready to be chiseled out. And I've also clamped the piece securely down to the workbench. That way during the chiseling out process, it's not going to move around. Now just a quick tip for you beginners out there who may or may not have used a chisel before. You'll notice that there's a flat side to a chisel and a beveled side to a chisel. And with that in mind, when chiseling out a rebate or a recess like we have here, grab your chisel and with the flat side, not the beveled side, the flat side, place that on the line that you want to check out. The bevel is facing outwards, that way when you tap on top, the waist will go out that way and the chisel itself will follow that line straight down, which is what you want. Also, don't give it one almighty belt and try and knock everything out in one hit because that will only splinter or blow out the underside of that piece. So lightly, tap on top on one side, turn the piece over and then attack it from the other side. And there you have it. Two rebates, looking good. Now once those rebates have been cut, you can see how the sides just slot in, just like that. And remember earlier, we cut three pieces the same size. This is going to be the top, but we're going to cut this piece down to that size there. The reason why this is so long is that we need to cut a couple of rebates into this, which would be very difficult with a piece that size. So we're doing it out of this size first, and then we'll cut it down to that size. So as you can see, these are now the two rebates that will need to be checked out. Now you might also notice that the width from the outside edge to the outside edge of those rebates is the same width as the base of our bottle opener. And to cut those rebates out, I've set my circular saw to a cutting depth of around 10 millimeters, which is roughly half the thickness of that top piece. And you also notice that I've clamped the piece down to the workbench. That'll make the cutting process a whole lot safer. Alrighty, 
Let's see how it fits. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Happy days. The next thing we need to do is to cut the top of the bottle opener to size. And all I've done, personal choice, is run past the edge of both rebates 20 millimeters, or roughly three quarters of an inch. So we'll cut this and then move on to the next step. It's getting exciting, folks. We're almost there. Stick with me. Now this is basically how the catapult bottle opener is going to look. But before we assemble it and screw it all together, we need to know the height of our launching lever. And a good way to do that is to grab your preferred brew or your favorite brew. Mine is Cooper's Mild Ale, three and a half percent. I can't do the heavies these days. It knocks me around too much. And on that topic, what's your favorite brew? Let me know down below. Anywho, get your favorite brew and measure from the underside of the cap across to the side of the bottle opener and that'll be the center hole for the bolt that's going to secure the launching lever. Bang. An easy way to find the height for that bolt is to run a square across until it lines up with the underside of that cap. And bingo. There you have it. Once you've drilled those pilot holes, grab yourself a speed bore drill bit, mine's 25 millimeters or an inch, and drill into the timber about 10 millimeters, which I've marked on the drill bit itself with this piece of tape. And what that does is that will actually recess the bolt so that it's flush with the top of the wood rather than sitting up on top. You don't have to do it, but I think it looks a lot better. With those holes now countersunk, turn the boards over and drill a hole through the other side, the same diameter as the bolt that you're using. And in my case, that's 10 millimeters. Beautiful. Now with the launching lever, come back in from one end about 150 millimeters, which is just under six inches. Find the center and then drill a hole through that, the same diameter as the bolt that you're using. And in my case, it was 10 millimeters. Now make sure you start off by drilling a pilot hole from both sides, because that will make the hole more accurate. Now we can go through with the full size 10 millimeter bit. Alrighty, let's now turn this piece over. That way the drill bit won't burst through the other side and splinter it. Beautiful. Okay, it's now time to start gluing and screwing the bottle opener together. So just carefully Place everything in the right spot. There you go. Make sure everything's nice and flush. And when you're happy, grab your drill. And what I have here is a countersinking bit with a pilot hole drill bit as well. So place it on your hole or on your mark and drill. Done. There's one, two, there you go. And if you'd like one of these fancy contraptions or one that's similar, I'll link to one in the description box down below. And the reason for the countersinking bit is that when the screw goes in, it'll finish up nice and flush with the surface. Now you may have noticed also that these screws are black. I actually painted them black because that's what I thought looked pretty cool. There's one, and there's two. Beautiful. And the final step before we attach the launching lever to the bottle opener 
we need to drive a screw into the end of that launching lever and leave it hanging out by about 10 millimeters. Just like that. And now we can attach this to the bottle opener. So there it is folks, all put together. And I reckon it's looking absolutely fantastic. And I love how those image transfers worked out. Now, if you want to know how to do those, I'll leave a link to a previous video I did in the description box down below. So make sure you check that one out. Alrighty, last step, a quick coat with a clear satin varnish, and we're good to go. Now just remember, this is an old tin that I found just floating around the shed, so, we're trying to do these projects for as cheaply as we possibly can. And there she is folks, all done and dusted. And I have to say that this has been an absolute cracking little project. And now you can open beer bottles, bang, like a boss. And like I said at the start of the video, the project came in under that magical $5 mark. The wood, that was free. The bolt and the screws, they were $2. And the varnish and the glue, a buck fifty. So for $3.50, you get yourself this cracking little bottle opener. That'll be the talking point the next time your mates come around for an icy cold beverage. I love it. Mwah. Is it okay to kiss your bottle opener? It's okay. Oh um, yeah. Now very quickly, competition time, where I'm going to select the first 20 correct answers plus one random viewer to win a couple of these magnificent DIY for Knucklehead stickers. Now, question number one. What's the name of my favorite brew? And question number two, what do I make in the first video listed in my scrap wood slash pallet wood playlist that will pop up at the end of this video? Happy searching and good luck in the comp. So that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. And if you could share the video, that would be absolutely awesome. Alrighty, it's uh, 10 a.m. Is it a bit early to, uh, you know? Yeah, it probably is. Alrighty, till next time, be safe, and I'm out of here. Cheers.